grading and floor plate penetration around base plate component allows you to apply a penetration in grading or floor plate around a base plate. In this example here I'm going to put a penetration around a handrail base plate. So I pick the component, pick the grading, pick the base plate, and I'll do it a couple of times. If we zoom into the connection, if we have a look at the options. So we have an overall clearance if we want to nominate that, so I could nominate a 50 clearance on all sides, or I could clear that out and apply a different clearance on each side. And so forth. It also works around any other base plates. So I can apply it here. I'll clear the values out. Pick the floor plate. Pick the base plate. Again, it applies the clearances. With the next component, we're applying a penetration and grading of floor plate around a pick point. In this case here, we've got a bolt or a bolt hole in the top flange of a beam. Pick the component, pick the floor plate, and then pick the bolt hole. And that applies a penetration around that. Similar options where we can nominate an overall. So I could nominate maybe a 200 by a 100 penetration. Or if I clear those values out, I can nominate say, 20 on that side and 100 on that side. So it just depends on what sort of control you want to have over the penetration. The next component simply applies a grading load bar symbol to the top surface of the grading. Start the component, pick the grading, and now pick a point anywhere on the grading where you want the load bar symbol to be placed. Just simply it part adds a small bit of plate to the top surface so that that symbol then shows up on the drawings. If when creating a drawing of this grading and that symbol is shown as hidden detail, it means that the drawing is looking at the underside of the grading, so it's drawn upside down. If you get a chance, please check out the other components we have at www.techconservices.com.au.